Okay, hey guys, welcome back. Um, and this is Behaviour 1337 here today. And today I'm going to be teaching you a really kind of um, really useful tip for Facebook and like uh, and to combat against hackers. So this method is kind of really easy. It's like kind of just it's not exactly a method, but it's kind of um, a trick. And as you can see, I just made a, a like. An, an example account I just named it James Smith and you can see an example status I can see that I've liked it whatever comment um so there and um yeah so this so not that long ago I was there talking to my friend asking him like about what he'd done and stuff just bored and then all of a sudden some guy just started well he started saying random messages all by itself like to me um to my friend off my account like i won't even type in and like it's like popping up and stuff and um it, it's really really annoying and i just found a method to kick hackers out of your account it's really easy and it's kind of a built-in feature in facebook it's it's not that known about but it's really simple and the feature is simply called your active sessions so let's get on to your active sessions just click this little button here click account settings and you come to this then you want to click security then you're going to go down to active sessions and see here you will see your session that you're on here and if if you've logged in from any other houses like say your nans or your granddads or your mums dads whatever then um you will see the other one but as long as that proves and you know the, wh where the sessions come from and whatnot, then it's okay. And as you can see here, I'm Chrome on Windows 7. Chrome, Windows 7. So, how does this like work if someone's hacking you? Well, if someone's on your account, then they're going to have an active session, basically. And you'll be able to see this active session and you'll be able to kick them off their session so that they won't be... and they'll log them out and then they'll have to re-enter the password and that gives you enough time to do something else which is change your password so i'm just going to show you what it'd be like if someone was in your account by loading up mozilla firefox here and this will show because it's a different different browser and it's still logged in from you know it will still work okay just wait for it for some reason it's been slow okay so stay there there and they're just hacking you they like um, type in your email then type the password the password is just example password just because obviously it's an example account they could click that so that's why you have to be quite quick when you're changing your password once you've ended the active session so here as you can see say they're in your account they could write a state status like so this is the oh my god this is why i don't use firefox because it's just so slow yeah this is the hacker okay, so they put the status there or whatever they don't even have to put a status but say you know someone's in your account you're gonna want to be you're gonna be on here and obviously you see like a status that you're not put or like a like or something then what you're gonna want to you want to do this relatively quickly so that they can't do anything more so go to your settings go into security and then here active sessions as you can see now it says i'm one of the location it'll, it'll say last accessed it won't say like come up as the current session um it just doesn't and then um as you can see firefox obviously it's still got the same location but obviously that would probably diff be different oh well that would be different unless it was like your sister or something in your house and this probably would be different it could be totally different but online obviously because I'm using the same computer and whatnot it's gonna be the same except from the Firefox okay and then what you want to do here is click end activity and what this will do is then when the hackers on your account 
as you see here, if they try and do anything, it should log them out. One sec. Let's just check I've ended it properly. Yep, I should have ended it properly. And then, whenever they try and access something, it'll just come up with this. So then what you're gonna need to do quickly after you've done that in rapid succession, big words here, you're gonna need to change your password. So you're gonna have to do this quickly because obviously if they know it, so example password. Then I'm gonna put the new password to, oh wait, no, that was the wrong. Example. Obviously, user would have um, user would have to be quite quick. Wait, I always type these wrong. Okay. So obviously, try and be quicker than that, and obviously, quick save changes quickly. Uh, um, okay. Pringles one two three four. Pringles one two three four. Save changes. Ugh. Pringles one two three four. There we go. Okay, so you would have to do that quite quickly, and then also you've got this other option. So if they're just logging in, then you can click "Set Lock Me Out of Other Devices." Password change complete. And obviously, when they try and log in with your old password, with like example password today at 6 25 p.m. and as you can see the times there so this is a legit tutorial and um, just to check if anyone's been on your account as well say you don't know they've been on it they've just been looking through your messages or whatever occasionally go onto your settings and check your active sessions because they might they might just go on your account a couple of times and just look through it and not do anything and um, you, you might not be aware of it so and then if you do see any unusual activity then you I would cancel it and change your password straight away and also another good tip to not getting hacked really is um, the login notifications so you can get an email or push notification like that or a security code so when you're on a browser that you never signed in from before then it'll be like, you know, use this, set this up, find the phone, blah, 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 blah. And then obviously just do all that. And then obviously your account will be a lot safer and, you know, a lot more secure. So thanks for watching this tutorial, guys. And if it helps you with your Facebook problems, Facebook hackers, Facebook whatever, if this tutorial helps you, basically, please like, comment, and subscribe and share this video with your friends. So I've been Behaviour1337, guys. So peace.